<laughs> this is a, uh, yeah, no preambles. Nina Jones spent time amongst the derelict and downtrodden. Nina Jones carried weapons of mass distraction about in her live five foot two inch frame as a matter of course. Nina Jones had a voice that could heal the sick and wake the dead. And Nina Jones stayed naturally blunted, high on life, knocking back shots to death defying situations with a fifth of adrenaline rush standard for a chaser, because Nina Jones had this way. She had this je ne sais quoi. Her name ran through the streets, her sober cane on some Kaiser Soze type hill. Her passion burned through the boardroom gripped in Ivy Leagues for payday. And Nina Jones slipped from ghetto girl diva to beat girl tip street hop to Fortune 500 debut times queen of the ball, seeing Nina Jones at this way. Had the je ne sais quoi. Nina Jones wrote trick style with Rough Riders. Nina Jones dodged ball fights for sport. Nina Jones high octane at all times, turning up confetti asphalt whenever the price was right. And Nina Jones had this way. She had this je ne sais quoi. And Nina Jones sipped champagne, then watched her for dollar on Sunday mornings. Nina Jones was the epitome of a free spirit, sticking like dead with real, then standing back one, mean mug, and begging that bitch to pop out again. And she spent Saturday nights at all in the best clubs, twerking fantasies into the minds of every man in the room. Found himself teasing, but pleasing till he stepped to her right. Nina Jones, like Bishop Don Juan and Lace, tossing niggas like dice in Vegas, playing players for the thrill of the kill. And then Sister Girl slept until she felt like it, cutting her eyes towards daylight after the sun had already begun its descent towards evening. Because Nina Jones had this way, had this je ne sais quoi. People watched Nina Jones as she struck runway in her Jimmy Choo's, then switched Diva Pimpling from her Tim's. I would when she went from afternoon baby fat to after hours Cavalli. And several times a day she heard the quiet. Oh, hey, that ain't sister. And several times a week she heard somebody remark, yo, that's a bad bitch. Maybe they'd actually said it, or maybe she just heard it. But Nina Jones had this way. Nina Jones wasn't the kind of sister to have many female friends, because Nina Jones fought like a man, got bucked like a brother, and hustled for her paper like a nigga on the block, because Nina Jones had this way. But it wasn't until she received her best friend's left hand in a FedEx box that Nina got a taste of what real fear felt like. It wasn't until she watched a video of his massacre on playback from every screen in her home that she truly got shook to the core. Nina Jones had this. First through the Grifton, never show your face. Second rule of Grifton, never get emotionally involved. Nina Jones had this. Third rule of Grifton, choose your mark wisely. Go for the gimpy one at the back of the pack, someone once told her. But Nina Jones fucked around and fell in love with a mark. Had that man ready to be boys to man down and then to be on some poetry, all you gotta do is say yes type shit. And she damn near on some of the same. His partner read through her game like black jaw type defense at the snap. Left her a little calling card with a promise, COD. Took out her number one man when he found out how much she was getting him for. Left her quick to dip in the hiding in the ghetto witness protection program, and she fell back into the early days of picking pockets on the subway, scrounging for a quick trip to anywhere but here. But Nina Jones had this way, and she slipped out of the States on a European voyage, and two years and several identities later, Nina Jones got when her sister had been killed. Sister Jones assassinated, samurai style. The war had begun. The hunted became the huntress. And like Beatrix Cadeau, Nina Jones vowed revenge. And so Nina Jones did the only thing that she could do. Nina Jones called them boys. Nina Jones grabbed them burners. And Nina Jones and company swooped them to her Bette Noir's compound under the cover of night. Now, she found it odd that picking the lock set off no alarms because even though she had the power cut, she still thought there'd be a backup. But Nina Jones had this way. And she sent the bully boy crew in first. She had this. She didn't say why. Hey, you Nina! Hands up! When the smoke cleared, Nina Jones' body lay in a pool of blood. The non-stop garage had had her body rocking like Cleo's in that last moment to set it off. Nina Jones had this way. Had this je ne sais quoi so she, until she forgot the single most important rule of Griffin. Trust no one but yourself. It seems that higher guns are just that, mercenaries sold to the highest bidder. And Nina Jones never knew. She was already gone when the truth came out. Turns out that Napoleon's had Josephine and had a tragic flaw after all. 
First rule of Grifton, never show your face. He didn't kill her over the money. Second rule of Grifton, never get emotionally involved. He got that three, four million back in a couple of off-the-record deals. Third rule of Grifton, choose your mark wise and go for the gimpy one at the back of the pack someone once told her. He took her out because she broke his heart. All in all, people still speak on the legend of Nina Jones. <coughs> and sometimes they say, you know, Nina Jones, Nina Jones had this way, she had this. But most times, <laughs> people say, Nina Jones, she did. And that was a bad bitch. Den shim fune fu, fun tun fune fu. Den shim fune fu, fun tun fune fu. Den shim fune fu, fun tun fune fu. She come in wearing the aura of tomorrow. Speaking languages most don't remember. Reminding us of pictures most are too scared to look at. Din chim funi fu, fun tu funi fu. She come in with, carrying the pain of yesterday's sorrows. Singing songs no one wants to know the words to. Calling on souls whose turn at the door of ancestry come too soon. But my dreams got flip snatch, and my time got rip scratch, and my wants got tricked. And I was told that I'd be dead by 25. And I was told that I'd be dead by 25. And I was told that I'd be dead by 25. This refrain, this refrain on repeat. And I was told I'd be dead. This refrain on repeat like the CD is as to skip right here. But I remember days when little girls felt free to skip hopscotch and double dutch. Back when skipping rocks and hydro water was the only way to move them. This refrain on repeat. But this is more than break beats got folks popping and locking. Because now kids popping these shots is getting them locked behind bars. And rocks got a whole new dimension. And I was told that it was weird to be a loner. And I was told that it was weird to be a loner. And I was told that it was weird to be a loner. This refrain on repeat. And I was told that I was weird. This refrain on repeat. But folks keep shutting me out and tearing me down. Warping my record till my needle skips. And I begin to trip feeling like I'm flipping in a whole new way. Got me searching for a new place of glory. Straight flipped out from this trap with my rhymes. They bust back and the feedback from my speakers looks like Columbine. When the sound from my woofers breaks through to receive it, the static that I've been breathing feels like Tucson, Arizona. My dreams got flipped, snatch. My time got ripped, scratch. And my wants got tricked, but I just want to go back. I just want to go back to the day of the Adinkra. Back to the day of the Din Chim Fune Fu, Fun Tun Fune Fu. Din Chim Fune Fu, Fun Tun Fune Fu. Din Chim Fune Fu, Fun Tun Fune Fu. It means. We share stomachs, but we still fight over food. It means we share stomachs, but we still fight over food. It means we share stomachs, but we still fight over food. So let's bring it back. Back to a present where continual destruction comes to be the only sounds that we hear. Back to a future that will play this very same song forever unless we write a new one. This refrain on repeat. I was told I'd be dead. I was told I was weird. I was told that I could change the world. And she come through singing songs of our past. She come through carrying the mirror for our now. She come through with blank sheet music for the song of our future. But the question is, what do you want to do?